Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. First and foremost, I do want to address the elephant in the room. Um, you may or may not have heard by now that WoW Insider is logging off permanently this week, which means I can no longer do the WoW Insider weekly recap as there is no more WoW Insider. I just want to take a second to thank WoW Insider, all of the staff and all the writers for everything that they've done for me personally, as well as all that they've contributed to the World of Warcraft community as a whole. I know that you guys are all going to do great things going forward and I just want to wish you the best of luck from me and my viewers. So obviously this is not the WoW Insider Weekly Recap, which is kind of sad, but you know what they say, every time a door closes, another one opens, and I'm very lucky and grateful that WoW had opened their door to me. So going forward, every Tuesday I'm going to be hosting a show, this show in fact, called Downtime Tuesday, where I recap all of my favorite stories posted on WoWhead. So now we got all that out of the way, without further ado, let's get right into the recap. Clearly, I am a sucker for collectibles, so I was super excited to see that Blizzard added some new merchandise to the Blizzard store. The new loot includes four different cute but deadly mugs, which feature some of our favorite lore characters drawn in an adorable chibi style that will set you back $14.99 each. Also new to the Blizzard store is this adorable little hogger plushie priced at $30. He's pretty adorable. I mean, if you're into gnolls. Blizzard teased us with this new mount that is allegedly coming out soon. No word yet on how to obtain this glorious violet cat mount, but if I were a gambling girl, I would put my money on something Heroes of the Storm related, sort of the way that the hearth steed was earned through Hearthstone, although it should be noted that that is just my personal speculation and I am often wrong. And of course, Blackrock Foundry hits live servers on February 3rd, which for many of you watching is today so exciting. Blackrock Foundry will bring us 10 new boss encounters as well as tons of new loot. Wowhead has a really cool model viewer tool that allows you to see all of the Blackrock Foundry loot in 3D in all of its animated glory. Check out some of my favorites. If you would like to see all of the gears equipped on your race and gender of choice, or check out strategy guides for 8 of the 10 new encounters in Blackrock Foundry, check out the links in the info below. Blackrock Foundry is not the only thing that citizens of Azeroth can expect this February. Wowhead wrote up a great overview detailing all of the events taking place this month. Along with the new raid, players can expect a new world boss which drops 665 gear as well as the amazing Solar Spirehawk mount. Also, the legendary questline will continue and players will be rewarded for their efforts with a best in slot 710 ring. The monthly run of the Dark Moon Fair begins on February 8th and continues through February 15th. There are 7 toys that can be obtained from the fair along with pets, mounts, heirlooms, and more. The Lunar Festival begins on February 16th and runs through March 2nd and gives players the chance to earn pets, achievements, engineering schematics, and more. Also keep in mind that the achievements earned through the Lunar Festival are part of the meta achievement Oh What a Long Strange Trip It's Been for those of you still working towards your Violet Proto Drake. And as you probably already know by now, Love is in the Air began on February 2nd and will continue through February 16th. The Crown Company Dungeon now drops I level 635 next slot items and a new toy and a new pet have been added to the event. Wowhead has a great guide on all of the things that you can do in the Love is in the Air event, including the changes for 2015. If you want to check that out or any of the other events that I've talked about in the last couple minutes of this video, check out the links in the description. Pretty much everything else I'm going to talk about in today's video is information from the PTR. Stuff from the test realm is highly tentative and subject to change and that's just something to keep in mind. Twitter integration is live and functioning on the PTR. Once you've linked up your Twitter account with your WoW account, you can tweet screenshots, achievements, looted items, or just say hi to your followers from Azeroth, or Outland, or Draenor. You get what I mean. 
So if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you may have seen me post some screenshots of the results of using all of my toys at once. It was not pretty. One of the silliest things that happened was when I used my blood mane charm with my blazing wings, it resulted in a ridiculous looking cat beast. As you can see, my wings are completely sideways. That's not the way they go. According to Blizzard, 6.1 will provide some relief for those of us who overdose on cosmetic effects while shapeshifted. Warcraft devs posted a tweet showing a cat form druid with blazing wings positioned correctly on his back with Pepe on his head. Later on, they followed up saying that Ghost Wolf will be getting some attention too. And CM Lore clarified that changes to shapeshifting and cosmetic effects should cover 99% of the shapeshifts in WoW. To that I say, challenge accepted. 6.1 is bringing us more than just Twitter integration and cosmetic enhancements. It's a major content patch with changes, tweaks, and new stuff all over the place. Just to name a few things, we're going to be getting the new Blood Elf models, an heirloom tab, new garrison missions with a new garrison mission UI that's all upgraded and whatnot. We're also going to see tons of class and talent balance changes. There is just a lot of stuff. If you want to read the whole patch 6.1 notes or get more information on anything else I talked about today, check out the links underneath this video. And last but not least, I pose you all a question. What is the most ridiculous combination of items you have ever used? I obviously showed you some of the results of my horrifically failed experiments, but I'd love to hear about your experiences with toys, unused items, and shapeshifts. Let me know in the comments below, and while you think about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. And that's it for this week's Downtime Tuesday. My name's Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please thumb it up, answer our question in the comment section below, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. As always, everything I talked about today is linked in the description of this video. If you want to dive a little bit deeper into any of the topics that I discussed today, you can check out Wowhead Weekly, which is a podcast featuring the lovely Olivia Grace and Perculia, and they, it's kind of a longer format of this sort of thing, where they just talk about all the changes and stuff, and they're vastly more knowledgeable knowledgeable than I am, but that is neither here nor there. I hope that you'll come back next Tuesday and every Tuesday to see future episodes of Downtime Tuesday and to see if your comments in our featured section. I am terrible at outros. I'm gonna go. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 I am often wrong. Alright, cut that out. Ugh. February 16th. The Ah, words. Words are so difficult. <sighs> Screenshots. That's very loud. Your car is very loud. Get a new car. Is somebody snow blowing right now? It's dark outside. Oh my god, is that your car? That's not okay. That can't be street legal. Get it? That, no. If you pull away and that noise is coming from your vehicle, sir, you need to get an inspection of sorts. Wow. Loudest minivan ever. Can't be safe. I can't be safe. Thingamabob. Come on. For more in-depth, in depth oh, come on, Danielle. You're almost done. Patch 6.1 will bring us the long-awaited heirloom interface, which will allow you to store all of your heirlooms in a manner similar to mounts, pets, and toys. But that's not all we're getting in the world of account-wide goodness. No, in Patch 6.1, you will now be able to buy heirlooms for gold in Ironforge and Undercity, for Dark Moon Fair prize tickets at the Dark Moon Fair, obviously, and for champion seals at the Argent Tournament. There is a new heirloom neck item that doubles as a health potion and you will now be able to upgrade your heirlooms two times, once to 85, and a second time to 100. I think the best part of all of this heirloom-related news, though, is that Blizzard is now rewarding players who collect all of the heirlooms with a special mount usable at level 1. The mount in question is called the Chauffeur Chopper, and it summons a chopper complete with a driver to, you guessed it, chauffeur you around. Freaking cool. So cool. I need that.